Hello students how are you all I hope you all are fine today we will do some extra sums based on the three chapters that we have already done so the first question is answer the following questions color the correct face of a brick you all know brick so we have to color the correct face of the brick from these four which one is the correct face of the brick this one no this one no this one yes this one no so this one is the correct face of a brick so you have to color this face next one number of faces in a brick is you all know brick is in a shape of a cuboid so a cuboid have how many faces yes six so number of faces in a brick is will be six number of edges in a brick is you all know number of edges of a cuboid is 12 so here number of edges in a brick will be 12 okay the next one draw the hour hand and the minute hand to show the given time in box in box you can see here the given time is 525 so you have to draw hour hand and minute hand to show the time okay i hope you can do this alone next we will go to the next sum Okay, so the next sum is write AM or PM for the following statements. Here, four statements are given. You have to write AM or PM according to the best on the statement. See the first one, breakfast in the morning. So, in the morning you do your breakfast. Suppose 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. So, we do breakfast in the morning. That's mean that it will be am because morning time is denoted by am and dinner time at home whatever is your dinner time you when you do your dinner at night so at night we have to write the time by pm 10 pm 9 pm 11 pm next 2.30 in the day. In the day, 2.30 means afternoon and when it becomes afternoon, that is after 12 in the morning or in the day, it becomes p.m. So, 2.30 in the day will be p.m. Lunch break time at school. So, in your school, can you remember when is your lunch break? Yes, it is at 1 15 so 1 15 means it is afternoon time that is after 12 so in the afternoon after 12 whatever the time comes will be at pm so your lunch break time at school will be pm okay next mega bought 7 kg of rice for rupees 840 find the cost of 1 kg of rice so if the cost of 7 kg rice is rupees 840 what will be the cost of 1 kg rice what we have to do for this type of sum yes division it is very easy for you so you can write the statement by your own i am just showing you the calculation so 840 divided by 7 7 ones are 7 1 4 comes down 7 twos are 14 0 comes down 7 zeros are 0 so that means our answer will be 120. So the cost of 1 kg of rice will be rupees 120. Okay, next. Write the number of days passed between August 10 and September 15. As I have told earlier also, this type of sum is very much.
much important for you so here the sum is write the number of days passed between august 10th and september 15th how you have to do this sum at first see at first we will write here august okay so in august how many days are there in august there are 31 days so 31 minus 10 why we are writing 31 minus 10 because in august there are 31 days and here august 10 August is written. So, 31 minus 10. 31 minus 10 will be 21. Next September. After August comes September. So, we will write September. And here what date is written? 15. So, we will write 15 minus 1. 15 minus 1 is 14. So, after that we will add these two. 4 plus 1, 5 and 2 plus 1, 3. That means 35. So, from August 10 and September 15, there are 35 days. Again, I am showing how we are doing this. Write the number of days be passed between August 10 and September 15. So, August 10. At first, we have to write August. Then, how many days are there in August? There are 31 days. So, 31 minus, or as it is August 10, so 31 minus 10, that is 21. Next, September 15. So, we will write here September, then 15 minus 1. Okay, so 12, 21 plus 14, that is 35. So, total there will be 35 days between August 10 and September 15. I hope you have understood this one. Next, we will go to the next sum. Choose the correct option. Here, there is a question. One bus can carry 50 children. How many children can three buses carry? So, what we have to do for this type of sum? Yes, of course, multiplication. So, 50 multiplied by 3. What will be our answer? 3 zero is a 0. 5 3 is a 15. That is 150. So, our correct option will be 1. 50. So, up to this, there was your sum. Now, what you will do? You will take the screenshot of the video of the questions. Take a screenshot of your of sum number 1 and 2 and then you will go to the next sum, sum number 3, 4, 5, 6. Also, take a screenshot of of this and after that you will write these questions in your maths copy and then you will solve this okay thank you